Hi guys, we're going to go ahead and work on these short vowels together. This is on um, page four, so of the spelling words for the week. We have the word public, amendments, citizens, topics, benefited, impressive, activists, and insults. All right, so some of these words you hopefully remember from our talking of, on the Constitution. Um, so um, as we're working through this, you can um, hopefully learn the definitions as we're going through. Here we go. So changes made to a law. So when we make a change to a law, we call that public? No. Do we call that an insult? No. Um, the only word up here that makes sense is the word amendments. So a change to the law is called an amendment. Saying or doing something meant to hurt someone's feelings. So if you're in hurting somebody's feeling, what are you doing? Are you impressing, impressive them? Are you topic them? Are you insulting them? So it's an insult. Insult. People who work in support of an issue. So if you go out with signs and you're protesting something, those people are also called activists. They're actively fighting for what they believe in. Subjects of discussion or study. That would be topics, different topics that we learn about. Deserving of attention or respect. Well, that would be impressive. Maybe something that's really, really um, big or beautiful where I spend a lot of attention on it. That's something impressive. If I gain something from it, have I benefited? Have I public? Or have I citizened? I've benefited. If I gain something from it, I benefit from that. Okay. All right. We've got a few sentences down here that we're going to try and fill in the blanks with. The poster raised blank awareness about the issue. The poster raised, hmm, let's go back up here. The poster raised public awareness about the issue. So the public is a group, is our group of people that live in a society together. Um, the poster raised public awareness about the issues so that way they could, everybody in the, the neighborhood and the city would know about it. So we're going to say the public. Right there. The blank of Boston elected a new mayor. So that would be the citizens. The citizens are groups of people that are able to vote. The citizens of Boston elected a new mayor. Some of the sh fans shouted what at the other team? Well, what do you shout at the team that you're not rooting for? Are you saying they're very impressive or are you shouting insults to them? You're shouting insults to them. Okay. And the magazine included many blank relating to health and fitness. This one right here would be topics. Good. All right. So for this page, I'm going to let you do this one on your own. I am not going to help you with this one. Um, if you forgot what some of these words mean, most of them are written right there for you. Um, but I will help you with this bottom box right down here. So for this bottom box, you're going to use the, you're going to go to dictionary.com. and you're going to type in the word citizens. Then you're going to write down the definition of the word citizens right here. Then we'd like you to use the word citizen or citizens in a sentence. 
give a few examples, one or two examples of what a citizen is, and then give a few non-examples. So a citizen is this, and is not, that's what this means. So non-examples means a citizen is not this. So for example, a citizen is not a dog. A citizen is not a, um, a car. Okay, I mean these ones are a little silly, but um, those are non-examples. All right, and that is what you are doing today. Thanks.